Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. This is the final round one water comparison ever. This is it. These are the final waters that are gonna be included in the chart. And instead of doing a brand of water, we're doing something a little different. We're doing Pittsburgh tap water from my own tap. It's kind of bubbly. When it came out, it was kind of like milky white. And this is a uh, Pittsburgh tap water. I've never reviewed this. So this is the final review. I've also got some Pittsburgh rainwater. It actually looks more clear than the tap water. We've got Pittsburgh river water. Looks a little foggy, a little dirty, and uh, it's probably gonna taste a little funky. And we have Berkey filtered water from the Big Berkey. This is sort of the Rolls Royce of water filters. This is a very expensive water filter. This is about $300 <laughs> for this water filter. You can't even, it's so big, you can't even get it in there. Here, let me show you. It's very big. It's at 2.25 gallons. You pour the water in the top, it slowly drips down into the bottom. The filters for this, to replace the filters, are $100. It's uh, stainless steel. It's supposed to last a long time. The, the filters are supposed to do 6,000 gallons of water before they need replaced and um so if you do if you drink a gallon a day from this it's gonna last you about 15 years before you need to replace the filters um i've, I've seen so many reviews of this water filter some people say they've had it for like eight years and they haven't had to replace the filter yet and they just say it, it's great like there's so many rave reviews of this filter online and uh there's a couple people who also hate it they say the filters fell apart, but for the majority, people love this filter, even though it's super insanely expensive. $300 for the filter, or for, for the whole thing. You can also buy special uh, additions to it. You can buy a stand for it. You can buy like stainless steel nozzles and other things which make it even more expensive. They also have bigger versions and smaller versions, which are, which are more and less expensive. So the idea with this big Berkey thing is they say that you will save money over its lifetime because uh, normally I would use a Brita filter and you have to replace the filter like every other month and it's five dollars so the idea is that over years the money you spend on filters is going to you know add up to more than the three hundred dollars so it's supposed to be like an investment uh, I'm not sure about that yet. I'm still having a little bit of buyer's remorse spending so much on this. But anyway, we're going to do a taste test and decide which moves on to the next round. If you guys are new to this, we've been doing this comparison chart for years. We've reviewed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different waters from all over the world. You know, We've been doing this a long time, and we're in the final round one video. We're going to do a couple more rounds and then we're going to pick a final number one favorite water in episode 9000 so let's just open these up and uh do a taste test like i said the tap water came out like milky white it apparently that's safe but um apparently it's from calcium buildup and just from bubbles in the water um i'm in pittsburgh if you just Google Pittsburgh water, there's a lot of articles about Pittsburgh water not being that safe, like it having high lead levels and just lots of problems. It's not that good. And normally you can kind of smell chlorine. I'm smelling it a little bit now, not, not super strong, but um, normally you can smell some chlorine in Pittsburgh water. So here we go. Yeah, tastes a little chlorine-y. Not the worst water I've ever had, but not the best either. I mean, I grew up drinking tap water. First uh, 20 years of my life, we never had a, any kind of filter. We just drank tap water. Sometimes we drink it out of the hose. Like, I'm not completely against tap water, but if I, was, if I have a choice, I'll go with a filtered water. It's 
it's like a, a mild swimming pool taste to it. Um, yeah. Here's some Pittsburgh rainwater. If it was a little colder out, I would have would have done snow, but I went with rain today. And uh, you know, theoretically, rainwater should be good. I mean, it's kind of filtering it in the same way that distilled water is filtered. Because like only the water molecules should be going to, into the air and then raining back down. But in reality, though, that's not really the case because there's like pollution in the air. So when the rain falls back down from the sky, the the raindrops collect the pollution in the air. So it's not really as pure as distilled water because you're getting you know the other crap that's in the air, like getting kicked picked up as it uh, falls back to the ground. Like I've I've read articles that uh, the air is actually cleaner after it rains and healthier to breathe in after it rains because it the rain kind of filters the air. Uh, so here we go. Let's do a taste test. Oh, taste uh like kind of like a swamp. Um. Kind of like uh, grassy, kind of. Let's try this again. Yeah, there's a big contrast because so you don't get that chlorine taste in this water. All right, let's try the river water. Hopefully, I don't get sick from this. Uh, when I was a like a teenager, my family had a speedboat. I mean, that we sold it, but we had a speedboat for a couple years. And, um, you know, we would go tubing behind the speedboat, and I definitely drank some river water back then. But um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend drinking river water without filtering it. But I'm just taking a little chance here. I might get sick from it or something, but here we go. Here's river, river water. No smell at all. No smell. Yeah, that's not it's not as bad as I was as I was expecting actually. That's uh, let me, let me try it again. Kind of like a rubbery taste, like a kind of tastes like you would imagine a uh, a tire would taste. Kind of like like um, rubbery, like a mild like gasoline taste, like super mild gasoline kind of taste to it I, I did pick this up in the river like near a dock <laughs> so maybe I'm tasting like like boat gasoline or something yeah but not I was expecting more of like a pollution taste but um that's not actually not that bad <laughs> I was I was thinking I would take like one sip and then want to spit it out, but that's river water is apparently not like honestly the river water is a little bit better than the tap water as far as taste goes. You can see it's a little foggy, like not perfectly clear. All right, <laughs> let's move on to the Berkey water. Cheers. Uh, that is, I'll just say it now. The winner is going to be the Berkey. <laughs> it's, it's the clear winner out of these four. The, the Berkey is moving on to round two. Um, so I've had this Berkey for about a week and a half. One negative I will say about it is that the taste has kind of changed throughout that week and a half. When I first tasted this, I would describe it as like, like a charcoal kind of taste. Uh, you you almost smelled like a smoke, like a campfire smoke from the from the carbon filters or whatever the filters are made out of. Um, and then, you know, as I filled it up a couple more times, the taste has become a little bit more sweet. So that's kind of like a weird thing. All the water I've drank from this has tasted good. I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out that it has, 
changed as I've been drinking from this, as I've filled it up multiple times. And now it's more of like a sweeter, sweeter taste to it. I'll show you what it's like to fill it up. And when I first uh, used this, the water came out super, super slow. Like even when the when the bottom portion was filled up all the way, this tap still came out super slow. It's it's sped up also. So, you know, I'm glad I'm glad I didn't review this after one day because it has kind of changed with the taste and the flow. Um, so some of you guys might think that this is huge. Like this is enormous. This is insane to keep this in this tiny bedroom because it would take up so much space. But the reality is, it doesn't take up that much more desk space than the Brita does. Um, like, most of the difference is just the height. Because, like, the width is really about the same. I mean, it's it's wider this way, but as far as desk space goes, it's not that much of a difference. Like, See? <clears throat> I'm kind of cheap. I don't feel like buying their their stand. They charge like forty five dollars for this extra stand. So right now it's just sitting on a roll of paper towels. <laughs> but it feels it feels uh, pretty sturdy though. Like it's not going anywhere. I don't think unless the paper towels get wet. But it's like the perfect height to fill up these bottles. Um, I don't want to do it because I'm in the middle of the review, but perfect height for that and um yeah i'm still like trying to convince myself to keep this because i'm super cheap but this is so much money but i do like water and i want clean water and um i don't know i've, I've mixed emotions about the price of this like water is a big part of my life but 300 dollars is a lot of money for a water filter um so okay Something I don't like about this is that it's not clear. With the Brita, you know exactly how much you have left. You know exactly how full it is. With this, you just, you don't know. There's another attachment you can buy, which has a glass tube that goes up that will show you how full it is. But it's another thing you have to buy, and um, it's another thing that could break. And so that's the downside of this. Um, it looks pretty fancy, like it's very shiny. Uh, it looks pretty cool, I think. Um, some people have said that the filters have broken after a while. Some people said they had to like put a straw in the side because of negative air pressure. Like lots of people have had these random complaints about it. And some people say like the nozzle leaks and there's all kind of complaints, but for the vast majority of people, they're leaving, you know, very positive reviews, even after owning this for a long time. Um, let's taste it again. All right, let's do the pH level test. I'm pretty curious. Like theoretically, the tap water should be the same as the Berkey, I think, because I don't think this would change the water's pH, but let's find out. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's the results of the pH test. It's river, rain, tap, Berkey. I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart and decide for yourself which pH level you think they are. There you go. Uh, yeah, the Berkey filter is good for like disaster relief. It's good for preppers and um, homesteaders, and just there's a lot of people on YouTube reviewing this and Amazon. And the company's been around for a long time. Um, looks pretty cool. A thing I do like about this is how much more water this holds than the Brita. The Brita holds like 10 cups of water, you know, just in this bottom part. So this holds about three and a half times as much water. So that means I have to fill this up three and a half times less often. Um, there are two filters in here. 
but there's four holes so you're able to add four you're able to have four filters total if you decide to do that if you decide to spend the extra money for this for, for the extra filters uh, so if you have more filters it's gonna filter the water faster um, kind of an annoying thing about this is how long it takes to filter the water like I'm in this room most of the day so once I fill up the top chamber I have to listen for about 45 minutes while it drips down slowly it's kind of an annoying sound uh, just listening to drip 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 for like 40 minutes <sighs> but you know a lot of people doing other reviews were talking about how quick it is to me that's kind of a slow filter <laughs> excuse me um, yeah that's it looks it's got some like fingerprints on it I need to shine it up a little bit but it is very good tasting water and it's not just the cost of the filters for the Brita I think this is also gonna save me money because it's like convincing me to use less bottled water and you know a case of water can easily be like five bucks so I think that's going to be the biggest cost savings. It's, this is going to motivate me to uh, use less um, bottled water. That was my, my, my New Year's resolution. The only time I've broken that is to have bottled water for um, reviews and for bottles that I've already bought in for previous reviews. That was more of the Berkey water. These have pretty small openings for the mouth. I kind of wish I got bottles that had a bigger mouth opening. Because when you pour it with the, with the Brita, it's easy to miss the hole. Uh, that's what she said. And it's easy to spill water all over the place. But with this, it's like the perfect height, like I said. And it's super, like, way easier to fill these bottles up. It's like the perfect height. And, um, there you go. I just saved another bottle of water. It's less plastic in the environment and uh, less waste. So there you go. Berkey is moving on to round two. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.